Microsoft stealing bandwidth, Obama building a new supercomputer, new memory that will change the game, and hit an <laughs> <laughs> and a hitchhiking robot gets beheaded. These are today's bits. Windows 10 has just been released, and people everywhere are taking advantage of the free upgrade. Unlike most changes to operating systems, this upgrade comes directly over the internet and installs right from the Windows Update feature. It's fast, it's convenient, and it's free, so it's hard to say no. Well, to make this magic work, Microsoft has implemented a neat little feature that allows you to not only download the update, but to also upload it to other people as you go. Almost like that of a torrent protocol that helps reduce some of the strain on Microsoft servers. That's great and everything, but unfortunately we live in a world where most ISPs give users small bandwidth caps and charge them if they go over it. So because Microsoft decided to turn everybody into a file host without asking, they're a little upset. You can turn it off, but you have to dig through your settings just to do it. I am working on editing a new Windows 10 video that should be out before this. So if it is and I got it finished, I will link it here. In it, I will show you how to disable and reclaim your bandwidth. Obama has just signed a deal to build the world's newest and fastest supercomputer. Aiming to come in at 100 petaflops, it will dwarf other supercomputers. The fastest, currently owned by China, and it has a speed of 34 petaflops. This leaves the US in second place, with our top current supercomputer only having 17 petaflops, barely enough to play Minecraft. So as you can tell, we don't like being in second place here, so it's time to dump millions of dollars into a new computer to fix the situation. Speaking of speed, let's talk about 3D XPoint. This ridiculous new type of memory is going to change the way we compute. Intel and Micron are saying that this new type of memory will be 1,000 times faster than current SSDs and 10 times denser than DRAM. The best part is it's non-volatile. So with all the speed and capacity, our current understanding of computers could go right out the door. Imagine a world where programs don't have to load up anymore. I mean, sure, things are so quick that sometimes you don't really have a time to think about the program loading, but that's only because we're so used to this idea. With this new type of memory, system RAM would become a thing of the past, and everything that you request from your storage would just be fast enough that it doesn't need RAM to load, it just comes right up, almost like your entire system is already preloaded into RAM. 3D XPoint has been 10 years in the making and achieves this glory by using 3D 20 nanometer stacked memory. I will link in the description for you to read more, but long story short, if this stuff lives up to the hype, it might be on the edge of some revolutionary advances in computing. Have you heard about that robot that makes its way across country by way of hitchhiking? It made its way all across Canada, relying on nothing more than the kindness from strangers. It doesn't walk or move at all, but it can hear people and give canned responses to ask for rides. Well, the little bot decided that it wanted to venture into America to experience the American dream. It made it all the way to Philadelphia, got mugged, beheaded, and left for dead on the side of the road. If you have a weak stomach, turn away now. Okay, it's only robot parts, but hey, welcome to America. Bonus story today, albeit not much related to tech or science, Soylent 2.0 makes its debut with pre-mixed bottles of mill replacement goo. With over 50,000 customers at their first powder-only form, they hope to reach more customers with an easier-to-use product. I only bring this up because I actually find the whole Soylent thing kind of fascinating and kind of want to try it out myself. Not that I want to go on a liquid-only diet because I freaking love pizza, but this would be awesome in times where I have two days worth of editing to do and only eight hours to do it. Sometimes Sometimes eating just takes way too long. It can be stored up for a year and it only costs like three bucks a bottle. So I'm thinking about trying it. Let me know if you've tried it and tell me about it in the comments. As always, if you like this video, drop me a like below. And if you want to hear more, don't forget to subscribe.